Is there anything that you would look to, you personally, not anybody else, not other pundits, not even perhaps family members, that you would look to to say, if I see that, I will reevaluate? If there had some medical condition that emerged, if somebody, if the doctors came to me and said, you got this problem, that problem. But I made a serious mistake on the, in, the, in the whole debate. And, uh, and look, when I originally ran, you may remember it, I said I was going to be a transitional candidate. And I thought that I'd be able to move from this, just pass it on to someone else. But I didn't anticipate things getting so, so, so divided. And quite frankly, <clears throat> I think the only thing age brings is a little bit of wisdom. And I think I've demonstrated that I know how to get things done for the country, in spite of the fact that we're told we couldn't get it done. But there's more to do, and I'm reluctant to walk away from that. If I'm honest with you, the enthusiasm this time around is not the same as the last time you won. There is a certain disenchantment. Detroit, Philadelphia, Atlanta are going to be deciding factors in that 270 you've got to get to. I'd like you to take a moment and tell black America what you want them to know. Why should they turn out for you? Because they know where my heart is. They know where my head is. And by the way, if you notice, whether it's young blacks or young whites or one Hispanics or young Asian Americans, they've never focused until after Labor Day. I mean, the idea they're focused in, intently on an election right now is, is, is not there. And by the way, if you take a look at the presidents who have won at this stage of the game in the last seven or eight presidents, five of them were losing at this time by significant margins. The point is, we're just getting down to game time now. Let me ask you about reproductive rights. You've had your <clears throat> vice president out, out, out front on that. Um, talking about the long game, people will say that there's an example of Democrats not playing the long game well, that conservatives have been saying they're going to get rid of this for years now, and they got it. You've said that you will restore it. How can you be assured that you'll be able to do that? The Supreme Court did it. Trump appointed the Supreme Court for the express purpose of doing it. So that's where it they're works. They're still going to have the majority, no matter if you win or lose. Well, there's going to probably be two more appointments to the court. There's probably two people going to resign or resign, retire. Just imagine if he has two more appointments on that, what that means forever.